Hello guys and welcome to episode 18 of my Total War Rome 2 playthrough playing as Sparta on very hard difficulty. This is the Wrath of Sparta DLC and today we're going to start off by taking Olympia. So let's go ahead and attack this general. He will be forced back. I'm not sure if he's going to be in range to, to reinforce Olympia. I don't think he is. And uh, we're going to go ahead and, and take this with an auto resolve. If we're successful in sabotaging the other army that Ellis has, then we will be able to force that army that just ran away, or that general that ran away, to attack us, because when they lose both their settlements, they just automatically attack you the next turn. We're going to go and occupy this, because that's what makes sense. We don't want to destroy any of these buildings or anything. That gives us another storage pit, extra food and, and wealth from subsistence, and uh, extra, uh, extra army replenishment, which is pretty good. Especially once we, we take Mantine. Actually, that's the entirety of Ellis under our control. Since we already own Sakinthos. And we took Petri previously. Do we need this Olosidorus barracks here? I don't think we need we do, so we're gonna get rid of that. Build something else there. Okay. Let's go into our technology. Need to figure out what I want to do next. Might be worth upgrading to golden ratio so that we can get shaft mines. The extra tax rate would be pretty nice from platonism or platonism. Minus four corruption. We could also just look at more army things. I think we were going to go for common shield decoration previously for the extra melee defense skill. Plus 10% is actually quite a lot. So I think we're going to go for that next. That's fine. All right, our agent. Don't let me down this time. Very sabotage, poison provisions. Successful, lovely. That did a lot of damage. All right, therefore, I am going to recruit myself a few Thrake Peltas. Actually, no, we're not. We're going to do the Cretan Archers. And we're not going to upgrade them because I'm probably going to disband them after the battle. But let's go ahead and attack Mantanea. With that amount of Archers, we can annihilate them. Saying that, we don't need to because... <laughs> <laughs> the agent attacking that army made well removed all their movement points, which meant they can't reinforce. Damn, I'm too good at this game sometimes. Let's go ahead and auto resolve this, and we'll slaughter that other army separately. Then, all right, we can probably do it in an open field battle, which is even better for all of these archers I just picked up. Go ahead and occupy that, thank you very much. Uh, we aren't in range to attack them this turn, but they're not going to be able to move either, so that's fine. We can just attack them next turn instead. We'll get rid of this barracks, and that's also going to stop their recruitment, which is nice. Wow. Okay. Um... <laughs> At Christos, I think we finished the Hoplite Barracks, right? Which means we can now recruit Gratai. Base morale, 102. Pretty nuts. Are they better than... No, I was going to say. They're not better than Spartan Hoplites. What's the purpose of Skeletai? These mountainous people in times of war fight with tenacity to defend their homes. So weapon damage is just about the same. Bonus first large, slightly better. Large bonus is worse. Melee defense is worse. Armor is worse by about 40. Um, health is worse. <laughs> Base morale is worse. I guess this would be a pretty decent secondary unit, like sort of to replace Spartan use. I'm very tempted to get a few of these actually, just so that we do have them. Let's get rid of a couple of our light cav, even though these do have really nice unit ranks. I'm just going to get rid of them. Uh, let's merge them first. 
And then we can get rid of the other ones. Okay, and we'll replace those with two Hippias. Um, then we'll get rid of these Spartan Ewes. And we'll replace those with a couple of Skeletai. We don't actually have the money to. That's awkward. Oh well. <laughs> the statue of Zeus at Olympia we've captured. Which is nice. Uh, let's go have a look at what that does for us. Plus eight public order per turn. Okay. And uh, plus ten public order from Bread and Games Edict. Faction wide. What? That is nuts. Is that is that like for all provinces now? If I put Bread and Games, it gives them plus ten public order. That's that's crazy. What what edicts are we currently using? Actually, that's probably worth some, something worth having a look at. We should just be using tax rate, right? Like Lake of the Mons just giving us a lot. Uh, where else are we using it? We're using Bread and Games here. We should get rid of that, right? That's, that's pointless. And then we can put it elsewhere, like in your boya. Which one would be better? Probably your boy, right? So we'll put extra tax right here. Lovely. And that should improve our income even more. Okay. I should probably get another agent, actually. Uh, we'll get another noble. And we'll put him in this province, uh, near Ellis. Because we currently have one at Calchas. We have one at Sparta, like this guy. Um, so let's have one here as well. We'll recruit another agent. Oh, I don't have the money again, do I? <laughs> Keep baiting myself with that. So, things to do next turn. <laughs> recruit more Skiratai. And get a noble. Must remember that. Right. Anyway, let's move on with Brazo's wards. This is friendly navy. Okay, that's fine. Fires of Hephaestos are pretty much good to go. So let's just upgrade the general. See, this is the hero. We'll give him the extra military training. And then we're going to jump them onto the water. And from there, they can start to head up to Mendy. Okay. What do you wish of me? Those guys are staying where they are. That's everything done. Let's move on to the next turn. So it's a shame we haven't had a big battle yet, but using that spy was, I guess, cheating, but did the job. Alice will probably suicide against us in this end turn. So that's kind of what I'm looking to do. Just got to remember the noble and the skeleton. There we go. So this is what I was looking for. I'm definitely going to uh, defend this manually so that we get a nice battle. Let's go ahead and uh, fight this on the battle map. I should have probably sallied forth actually. Would have made more sense rather than fighting it in the town. Because now my archers aren't going to be as effective. Although I could just sally forth on this battlefield rather than fight it contained in this settlement. Although fighting it contained in the settlement makes a lot more sense. I don't know. It depends where they line up. It looks like they split, so I think I'm just going to go out and attack them. I will just leave all of the units here in a separate group. And uh, yeah, just put them together. Um, but then we'll have... Let's go three units here with the general. And then these units can all line up down here. Then we've got these four units... These four units. Got our cav that can go and attack their archers and stuff. And that's pretty much job done. Lovely. Start the battle. Spread these guys out like so. Allows the archers to go behind. I'll do the same here. But we mortals must do our parts as well. And we'll have we the archers move behind. On. Brilliant. My cav can just break off round here. 
Yes, Commander. What are we up against? Militia hoplites, militia hoplites, light cav, breathing archers, rodian slingers. We have right, discovered the enemy's hidden units. Commander! Orders are mustered! Loose, ready and waiting! I'm gonna take out these cav if I can. Alright, let's have my archers attack theirs. Should put them all on guard mode. I can. Missiles ready and waiting. We can have them attack those like Cav. I'm gonna just trying to break through my formations here, but it's not really working very well. Or like just run around them. Um, these guys, after killing those Cav, can attack those militia hoplites because they're running after my Cav. We're gonna have one of the Cav just run straight into those guys. Um, these two have separate targets. Lovely. Right, meanwhile, on this side, everything's good. They are coming towards the center with a the unit there. I'm gonna actually bring my general back. Yeah, we smashed into their ranged forces, which is good. And those hot plights behind are just going to get absolutely smashed. Also attack these guys. Brilliant. Okay, my archers can't really do much from here, so I'm actually going to turn them around. And we can shoot at these men as they come through, these light hot plights. Nice. Cavalry's done its job. Let's just smash into these Rodian Slingers. These guys can all turn around now. General! One of our units has used all its ammunition. It was just a generic front line here. What I'm going to do is uh, have my men run around the sides. This is kind of awkward. We do need to be careful here because they do have some javelin men. Alright, let's charge into the back of these fellas with my cav and then we can break that side and bring some of these men back. I can already start to bring some of these guys back. Didn't expect them to just run around us there and do that, but there we go. One of our units has used all its yeah, the idea is just line up sort of behind them and then just shoot these guys in the back. Capturing the center I think only affects morale these days, so. Just pour arrows down onto these javelin men. And they're basically all dead already. One of our units has used all its ammunition. And we can do the same for the hoplites. Look at all those arrows coming down. Absolutely wrecked. Right, and then once these guys are in position, give them permission to hit these picked top lights. Once these guys are in position, you can attack those militia hop lights and those militia hop lights. Brilliant. Right, let's go ahead and attack these light hop lights now. These hop lights just should be dead. War cry. And I'm going to stop these guys from firing. Right, job done over here, at least. Bring these chaps back.
Move these guys further up. And I think that's pretty much job done. They are all running away. And we'll end the battle there. Precise of victory. We might just have to jump out the settlement and destroy them afterwards, but by the looks of it, probably not. Oh, maybe we will. And we will enslave those. Next turn, I can get rid of those mercenaries. I beg you, take up the sword. Not going to join the war against Corinthos. That would make us treacherous, I think. Won't affect, affect my reliability rating. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, get rid of those archers. They just cost a lot to maintain, like 300 a turn. Quite a lot. Um, and we'll go ahead and crush that guy. Aggressive stance will do. Job done. And we will go ahead and enslave him. And has leveled up the general as well, which is nice. Now what we're going to do with this army is head back down towards Sparta. I think we're going to recruit ourselves some more men, max out the army, and then send it across the sea. Upgrade the fighter stat. And this army needs to, before it attacks here, have the champion jump in. Oh wow. I didn't realise that cancelled the movement. That's really bad. Oh well. I guess they're going to siege Alice. It won't matter too much. By the way, Fires of Hephaestos are moving up. Uh, these guys can recruit Skeletai. I want to see those in battle. They're like, unit icon looks really cool. I will get the politics there. That's great. For a household, anything decent? No. Alright, this lady. Where is she heading? Not entirely sure where she'll be useful. Looks like Ferre was just taken by Byzantium, which is interesting. Let's head up towards uh, Corinthos. I might also get another spy here. Let's just recruit another one. Conceal blade assassination chance is nice. Yeah, let's get this one. She can go and sort of scout out Ambrachia to keep an eye on what's going on there. And we should also get one to move across towards the Ionian League, I think. Let's recruit another one. I guess this one's probably the best. Pick her. I did want to get another noble over at Alice, so let's go ahead and do that. Extra cultural propaganda seems kind of pointless, so I'm looking for one with extra civil administration, preferably. Those agent effects are quite nice, though. The extra replenishment rate and morale. I think this one's best, though. Research rate's pretty good noble woman it will have to be. Okay. And time for Brizzo's wards to continue down. And we'll have the claws of Okeanos follow up. We do have the Tridents of Poseidon recruiting their new ships. And that's everything done. Wonderful. Leaves us in a pretty nice position. Alliance forged between Gotin and Gnosis. Let's jump into our diplomacy and see if we can get a Greetings, military friend. alliance. Greetings. Will you have wine? Fine we already have a military alliance. Wait, what? 
Oh, they are military allies. Okay, I thought they were defensive allies before, I think. They were defensive allies with Gortin and Gnosis. We might be able to upgrade the those to military alliances. Upon you. That would be what? ideal. Welcome, welcome. Okay, and they've accepted. Your That's word. fantastic. And since Gnosis and Gortin are friends, and Kaidonia's friends as well, Greetings, we may as well just guest. try and get defensive alliances and stuff and with these tongue, guys. Listening and speaking as will please. The other thing I'm looking to do is possibly secure trade agreements. Welcome. If I can give you a fair well, that's answer, high. You will high have chance. It. Okay. Um, let's demand a payment for that then. Okay, that's nice. The that's of a trade agreement. Might Greetings. also be able to with current boss for the time being. So you may speak as you wish, and we will give you an honest answer. Okay, we'll try a little I bit less. I think I can. Thought better of us. A like bribe? That in. Really? Are we so mercenary in your eyes? Okay, never mind. We'll just ask for a trade agreement. Excellent. We accept. And I give thanks to Athena for granting us all wisdom. Maybe eventually we could just become allies with them, because we're at war with all of their enemies, so <laughs> that might be an easy way to just get control here. That has improved our income quite significantly, securing all those trade deals, so definitely worth doing. And mustn't be trusted though. I've got to keep an eye on Corinthos and whether or not they move an army to their home province. I think what I'm going to do here is probably get a pit mine. I think we have maxed out on the bonus we can get from food surplus as well. I think it's plus 10 is, is the max you can get. Edict issued as well. Also helping out with income. It's just going to support that new navy really that we're making. As we do need to sort of think ahead for the, for the winter. Uh, we don't really want to have an army that costs too much upkeep. Because when we do go into to winter, um, the income issues will be a big problem. Got to keep an eye on these armies though. Thankfully the Beatian League has some quite large navies and they're our client state. Bound by treaty, our lands would be as trireme and sail. Indivisible, strong, powerful. I don't see why this is a bad idea. Just a non-aggression pact for now. Yeah, and it might develop into a defensive alliance or even a military alliance eventually. I guess if that's the case, though, I would have to be careful. This isn't good, though. He's picked up some mercenaries. And he's coming at us. Hmm. That's awkward. Probably be best just not to fight on the walls and just sort of fall back. Mm hmm. <laughs> this is really awkward. Yeah, but just because I messed up with the hero, ideally I should have been attacking this army. We are equal in numbers, but the Agrianian uh, axemen uh, do make the difference. Hmm. Because it depends who they have uh, pushed the, the ladders. And where I place my men as well. I could defend on the walls, honestly. We do have more infantry than them. Also, if we go into like phalanx formation, I'm pretty sure we get a very decent defensive bonus that might help us against those axemen. Where are they coming from? Over here, right. They've got archers and slingers pushing some which is kind of what I was hoping we don't have any towers on this side though apart from on the gate which is really bad hmm okay well what I'm gonna do is uh, we're gonna have probably the javelin men just go here and here and um, we'll have Spartan hot plights or these Spartan use sorry go there I'm probably going to have positions. these guys here, actually. There we go. We'll do it like that. 
speed it up. If I can just attack their missile forces with Spartan U's, that would actually not be too bad. It just depends where the ladders actually hit the walls. And depending on where they do, we will move my units accordingly. Uh, I can't use any flaming ammunition with these javelins, so... You will just have to hope that maybe my towers can do the job. Although it's all like percent damage based. Where's this ladder going? It's really hard for me to tell at the moment where these ladders are going to hit the walls. Let's say they can put it to the side of the gate. I've never seen that happen before. General. Looks Clinton. like they are going to. Ready for we await your command. Javelin men. Spear infantry ready. Javelin yeah, men. they can. I have never ever seen that be a thing. But they're dead anyway because the Cretan archers General. against Spartan hoplites. I think we're good. For about these ladders, though. Use. Ready for orders. Missile infantry at your command. Uh, let's get these guys over. Spartans! Our general is under attack. This is just in general pretty good. I might even have these guys just come off the walls. I think I might do that. I'll just have the javelin and come off because then they can sort of throw up uh, onto the walls. Yeah, these Cretan archers are so dead though. Look how quickly they're dying. Absolutely slaughtered. The axemen aren't doing too well either against my Spartan use, so that's good. The other ladders just aren't really doing too much. Um, these guys need to go to those stairs. Really. So, let's get them out of that melee. General! Pellets! Double time! Stop them firing at will, just so they don't Commander, throw up onto the walls without my permission. Alright, time to engage those guys. I'm actually going to have these guys come off the walls as well. Because I think what we're going to need to do is, like, attack them from both sides. Although one opportunity I have just seen here, which is why I've moved over these ladders, is um, they're going to climb up this ladder. And when they do, I can probably shoot them in the back with these javelin men. Also, if that doesn't work, then I can move these Spartan Us over to this side. And that'll be job done. Oh, those are the slingers. The axemen aren't even coming up yet. So we've got plenty of time to hit the slingers quite hard, which is nice. Not sure if we can actually hit these guys with javelins just yet, but... Might be worth moving across my dudes. Okay, they do have picked hoplites. Those are pretty scary. Missile infantry ready. We await your command. Quick march! But it might not matter if we have this many men on the walls. The tower's just doing too much damage. Alright, let's stop these guys firing at will as well. Okay, so yeah, we can throw into the back of these guys, which is good. Hold position. Exactly what I was hoping to be able to do. It uh, looks like these big top lights are actually going to come up on the far side. I'm going to have to probably move my general there. And have these Spartan U's come in from the side.
I do just need them to like attack constantly rather than try to run towards them. Once they've used up all their ammunition, I can uh, I can actually have them engage in melee. Let's get these Spartan Us up on the walls as well. Right, here comes the pick top lights. Fortunately, the towers can shoot down on them from two angles, so that will help kill these guys. Make sure the Spartan Us get involved there. These Rodian Slingers are nearly dead entirely, so that's good. Um, these guys need to stay out of the way for the time being. Right, I think I've got like one more volley in me from these javelins, so we'll just use that up. Maybe another volley. I'm just waiting for their reload timer, basically. That's what I'm doing here. One of our units has used all its ammunition. There we go. Right, now we charge in with the on news. I picked top lights are doing quite a lot of damage, which is unfortunate to say the least. Uh, what we're going to do is get these guys up onto the walls to the left because they are currently trying to burn down the gate and if they do manage to succeed then we're going to have to deal with those hippies as well which is not something I really want to do. Uh, my general probably wasn't the best bet to put in the face of these pick top lights but I mean it's the only unit that can really match them. Let's go into the phalanx formation mode so that we have that bonus if it will let us. I'm going to get rid of that skirmish mode. We should be able to get up onto these walls. Need to make sure that they all got the left tower here rather than the right one. Once these axemen are dealt with, we can have all of these men come over and try and deal with their general as well. I'm trying to do right now. These guys may as well get involved. Sparta! Missiles awaiting targets. Right, this is fine. Missile infantry. As long as they continue to use this tower, we can start to get some shots down into their cavalry here whole idea of having these javelin men. Right, General's kind of in trouble. Um, these guys need to just move out of the way. I don't want to lose the General if I can help it. Realised I weren't firing, so I'm going to fire at will. I think the gate's on fire, almost. Spear infantry ready. He's picked top lights all on their own. They're probably going to end up winning this game. <laughs> this battle for me. And they are slowly but surely taking damage. They're pretty hard to miss when it comes to throwing javelins at them. Attacking them from both sides here is pretty important as well. Let's just bring them out of this hoplite wall formation because I think it's just causing issues. Ideally the towers would be shooting at them but since they've managed to decap the towers that's not the case. At this point, we're probably better off just speeding up. We could potentially fall back with some of these units. Like some of these U's that haven't really taken too much damage yet. 
Because I feel like at the moment, I mean, they're not taking any damage. Their pick top lights are actually doing a really good job. I think I'm going to do it, or at least try. We'll have like one unit continue the engagement on this side. One unit continue the engagement on this side. And my general is going to come down here. And I might also save like a volley of these javelins as well. That will give us time to... But yeah, like I was saying, anyway, that will give us time to get back to the square, or at least up onto here. Alright, meanwhile, these Spartan Yews can do as much damage as they can. And now we'll speed it up again. The men are wavering. Uh, let's just have uh, these guys actually come away from that engagement as well. Because at least here we sort of get like an uphill bonus. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. And I can have these guys the sort of stand off to one gates. side. Although I guess they're going to get charged. Use. Have my use me. get in their way. It's fine. Like my use should do a lot of damage. One of our units has used all oh, its ammunition. Let me fire it well. By the god. Pretty irritating. Bio, come on. A lot of those guys just got run down as well. I'm hoping that the bonus versus large here really helps us take down these guys quick. Because ideally, I want to keep as many live or many men alive as possible. Th losing 37 men, for example, is not very fun. So, yeah, we need to kill off these horsemen as quickly as possible. Just take them out of formation attack and let them do their thing. We are on a time limit here, since the picked top lights are on their way. Okay, that's the horsemen dealt with. Okay, time to get them back into their position. We'll leave these guys to one side, ready to sort of flank them. And we could also just run to a different gate, right? I'm not sure exactly how that works. Although we do have remaining points. Ready and waiting. An entire unit has perished. Yeah, so we've got the hoplite wall going on. These guys into hoplite wall as well. Really hoping this uphill bonus gives us something to work with. A lot of men that we've got to kill. And unfortunately, I don't think it's going to be enough. <laughs> Try and charge them in the back a bit, do a bit more damage that way. Do have them surrounded. The morale is faltering. Maybe pulling back was the good idea. 
long as these Spartan U's don't break, we should be okay. I think, Our men though, flee the field of with battle. those guys this is a leaving, display. my Spartan U's probably won't last much longer. It's really just going to be up to my Spartan hoplites. Oh, that's good. How have we done it then? Because surely the general's dead, then there won't be a general unit. I'm assuming even if they take it over, they'll just get a replacement general. An entire unit has perished. Why me? This is so close. There's not really much else I can do at this point, battle. though. It's just their 42 display. versus my 27. Coming down to the wire. Never thought this would be such a intense fight. Looks like they've won, though. We are losing ground. Yeah, I think we're done. Unless, like, these guys can be absolute heroes. I don't think it's gonna happen. Yeah, that sucks. A valiant defeat. They lost all but 32 men. That's incredible. Look at that! That's so weird. Like, there's, like, no army attacking me. Are they just dead? Yeah, we didn't lose the settlement, because <laughs> we killed the general. That's incredible. So although we lost, we actually still won. What a sacrifice that was. <laughs> it's true Sparta style, that, <laughs> that battle. That was incredible. Okay. <laughs> That's insane. Let's sponsor an athlete. Get ourselves another decent leader. Oh my. That was incredible. Okay. I'll take it. I think I'm going to get another pit mine here. More wealth from industry. Unfortunately though guys, that has been my time. I am going to have to leave it here. That was just the most insane battle to end there. I really didn't expect such a small skirmish to like be so epic but uh, but it really was when you think about it that's really cool hopefully you guys enjoyed it thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one goodbye